<laughs> Hi, so when you take off your mask, where does it go? Well, mine stays right nearby and it's nice and comfortable because I made myself a jack strap. And I'll show you how to make one too. So join us. Hi, this is Tweek. We live in a world where mask wearing is what we do. It's all right for adults who have many choices and styles to choose from. It's a little more challenging when you have a mask on a child who may be running hither and yon, as kids tend to do. So I got to thinking about that. How do we keep our kids attached to their masks? When they're not using them, they usually hit the floor and that defeats the whole purpose of keeping it clean. Lanyards are really catching on as a way to keep your mask with you when you're not using it and it just hangs around your neck, you use the mask, take it off, it's still there. Though for kids, I question a lanyard because it could be a choking hazard depending on where the child is and what they're doing in the moment. So I came up with something that I think might be a little safer and I call it a jack strap. And let me show you how I'm going to make it. Supplies you'll need for this project are some elastic, some snaps with their tool, a suspender mitten clasp, a pencil, a hammer, some scissors, and a measuring tape. So this is an example of a jack strap. It's a piece of elastic that I cut and I fold it in and put snaps on it. So this end would snap to the elastic or fabric on the mask and snap in place. And then this side, which this is a suspender or a mitten clip, would hook into the fabric or the collar on the children's shoulder or neck area and would hook up to the mask. And when the mask is not in use, it's hanging safely where they have easy access to it. It's not gonna hit the dirt, which is a good thing. So let me show you how you make a jack strap. I have my piece of elastic ready. Now the snaps. The snaps have four little pieces you need for each snap set. Now there's two pieces that have little prongs on them. Now those are pretty sharp, so be careful of those. And then you have two other pieces. They, if you've seen a snap, they fit into each other. There's one that has a raised center to it and one that doesn't. Those are gonna go together. And these little pronged pieces are gonna help hold it in place. So let's show you how to do that. I'm gonna flip over. This is the side of the elastic that I like. I like the sheen on it. So this would be the wrong side of the elastic. And I'm gonna fold in about the width of one of the snaps. So you can just use it offside and fold it once and fold it again. Now you have three pieces of elastic there that you're going to hang on to this and take one of these circles with the prongs and you're gonna push it through the three pieces of of elastic fabric. Now that's not gonna go very easily. You can feel the prongs pushing through the fabric. But set this down and you can use your fingers to push the little prongs through. But what is helpful also in doing snaps is to take a pencil eraser and just push down on the fabric so that the prongs are kind of pushed through a little better. And you can see I've really mangled up this pencil and making the snaps, but it works. And you've got the little prongs are now poking through the fabric. I've got the table here and I've got a piece of soft fabric because what I'm gonna do next is take the piece that has the raised center and I'm gonna set it over the prongs. And it just sits there because it's just catching a little bit on the prongs. Then I'm gonna take this piece here that comes with the snaps and push that over. It clips over the center raised spot and I'm going to tap. So we have our first part of our snap is installed. Now what I'm going to do, I want this to flip on and snap into the other side. So I'm going to on the See how there's two, a circle there? I'm going to sit this other circle next to it, a little space between it, and one right on top of each other. 
and I'm just going to very simply push this now. This is only going through one layer of elastic, so you can see those prongs come through really well, and they're sharp, so be careful. So now I've got these two out <laughs> sitting next to each other and flip this back over. I don't think I have to use the eraser this time, but if you want to, you can use the eraser to make sure that the fabric goes down on the prongs. And I'm gonna take this other. Okay, there's two sides of this. This side reminds me of a wheel tire, like a rim of a tire. And this side has little teeny and dense little lines in the center. That's the side you want up. That's the side that's going to connect with a little raised spot in that side of the snap. So we've got the fabric there, we've got the little prongs there. We're gonna set this over. Kind of feel, you can feel when it kind of catches. And then I'm going to use the same tool. It looks good. Now, what do we have? We have the two circles sitting next to each other. See that? On the right side of the fabric. And you have the snap that is now going to... Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to attach the mitten clip. And I'm attached that now because once these are attached on the other side, I can't get the clip through anymore because that little bump stops it from going through. The clip is going to go through this way top side of the fabric and I'm going to snap it in place. So did you see what I did? I laid the fabric down. The mitten clip easily goes over this flatter piece but not over the bumpy piece. So now we've got that piece attached and it moves and it's got plenty of room and that's perfect. Let's do the other side. We're going to fold in again about the width of one of these snaps. I'm going to fold in again. And now I'm just going to hang on to that. And on the right side of the fabric, I'm going to push the prongs through. And then I'll use the eraser to help in the process. Let's see. Here we go. And I'm feeling for the prongs to come through the fabric. And once you feel that they're there, then you're good to go. Take the piece of the snap that looks like the hat and set that over the prongs. Very well done, look at that. Done with that side. We've got another prong, and this time we've got that looks like a, a tire rim. And you want the side that has the little lines in the center. So we're gonna push this, the front of the fabric, leave a little bit of space, and don't put them right on top of each other because you want the mask to fit in there. So it easily pushes through. Get this little piece, it looks like a tire rim. I'm sure these things have real names, but that's what I call it. And I feel it sitting there, and I'm gonna use the tool and give it some wax. Look at that, done. So now I've got this done. I've got two examples here I'm gonna measure this one is six inches, good. This other littler one is under four inches, good. All child size, good. That's what we're looking for. This side of the snap holds the mask. I'm just gonna pull up one of the disposable masks and give you an idea of what it's gonna look like. Our jack strap is completed. We made it with some snaps and some elastic. These are washable. You can wipe them off. And let me show you a few more that I've created. I've made these different colors. Very simple to add buttons, add colors, so you can personalize the strap for the little kid that's gonna be using it. And let me show how they will work then. Let's pick the little piggy. For a little girl I know that might be getting this one. So you open up the snap and place it on the mask elastic and snap it in place. Once that's snapped in place, I would hook it somewhere on the clothing. Just a little bit of fabric will hold it in place. Give it a snap, it's stuck there. And when you use the mask, 
comfortable. Your head can move, the elastic moves with you, and it's very cute. And when you don't want to use the mask, oh, let's say you're going out to recess. Oh, there, it just hangs with an easy reach and there's no choking hazard. I like that part a lot. For an adult, you just make it a longer piece of elastic with the same build, two snaps and a clip. This is a fabric mask that is my mask. And I put a musical note on it for myself just to pretty it up a little bit. So I put it across my ears. Got it? And I take this clip, attach it to my clothes somewhere or a collar. Got it. And there you go. I'm wearing my mask. Oh. I want to get something to drink or eat and it hangs out of the way easy access and it's not gonna tug off so I think this is a really good project especially for little kids we're gonna keep track of their masks it'll be safer all around and there you have it we've made a jack strap a safer way to go to keep your mask handy and to keep the little ones connected to theirs. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and leave a comment. I'd love to hear about did you make one and did it work for you? Stay safe out there and see you again.